Good morning, my dear yoga for another free yoga with Paulina online classes. Today I've prepared a short gentle yoga that will help you to restore your nervous system. It might be a bit advanced to some of you who are just starting your journey with yoga because I've decided to make it without any equipment. If you do, I'm going to tell you meanwhile what to use to make it more available to your body or you can just try to do it. But anytime you find some uncomfortable place, some pain or struggle, please skip that one asana to make your body more happy and helpful. And as you know, I would be very, very grateful for you if you subscribe to the channel, if you like this video or comment in this section below which class you want me to teach more often, then I would be happy to do it for you. Okay, and let's begin. Start with a comfortable sitting pose. If this is not comfortable for you, you can put blocks under your knees or under your hips to sit slightly higher. Take a deep breath, inhale, stretching your chest and spine, and with an exhale, close your eyes, but keep your spine elevated. Yeah. And as you are here, focus on your heartbeat, your heart center. Feel your heart beating, maybe it's fast or slow, maybe it's strong or weak, maybe it's stable or very variable, check whatever it is. If you don't feel your heartbeat, place here one or even two of your hands until you feel that beating under. Just because I'm having my mic, I'm going to put one arm, one hand. And now check with your emotions, with your heart. Asking yourself, what can I do to myself today to make me feel better? What can I do to myself today to make me feel better? And maybe you're going to have an instant response like you need a nap, you need a walk, you need to take a shower, you need to calm down, or to, you need to do your job, you never know. And while you're hearing the response, check how your heart feels, if it beats faster, slower, more stable, unstable, and so on. Very good. And now start making your heart a little massage, circling your hand on your chest clockwise or counterclockwise. And after a few breaths, of course, change the direction. Maybe you feel like sliding out. <sighs> And then place your hands in front of your heart, palms touching. And we're going to start the moving practice with chanting one Om. You can listen or chant with me. Gently blink, open your eyes, rising your gaze. And come to your all fours, hands and knees. If your knees are not feeling comfortable, put a blanket underneath. With your next inhale, lift your head and tailbone up toward the sky, arching your spine down. Exhale the opposite way around, so arch up your head and tailbone move down. Inhale. Pose and exhale, cat pose. Mm -hmm. 
and then come to your natural spine keeping your navel slightly in and walk your hands more front place your elbows down and then stretch your sit bones backwards behind you put your forehead down to a melting heart on a hatasana keep your navel slightly in to keep your lumbar stable And you can tuck or untuck your toes, by the way. And then slowly lift your head, come to your hands and knees, walk your hands slightly closer. Then move your navel up, lift your knees and stretch your sit bones backwards behind you. Walk your heels downward, paddling your feet into the in downward facing dog, pushing actively from the mat with your hands yeah that's right and then slowly walk your hands toward your feet now grab your hands behind your knees and gently release your whole spine down shake your head yes and no and you can try to stretch and bend your knees for additional calming down qualities. Now release your palms, inhale, come halfway up to a parallel spine. Exhale, slide your palms down back to that Uttanasana forward bend. Do it two more times, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Very good. And now lift your hands all the way up. Sorry, hair malfunction. Touch your palms. Move your hands to your heart. Very good. Now step to the front of your mat. You can leave some space for your chest. Inhale, now lift your hands around. And with an exhale, go to a nice lazy chair pose, not bending super deep. Just find yourself nice and stable for another deep inhale. And exhale, release your hands down, melting your spine. Inhale, lift halfway up what we just did. Exhale, move all the way down. Inhale, lift your hands around, up to touch with an exhale to your heart. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, hands up, stretch. Exhale, chair pose. Inhale, stay in your chair pose. Exhale, move all the way down. Inhale, lift for a parallel spine. And exhale, down again. Next, inhale, come all the way up. Hands touch and hands to your heart. Let's repeat it and add an additional asana. Inhale, hands lift. Exhale, chair pose. Inhale, sorry. Now exhale, move down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, step with your left for a high lunge. Lift your hands up. Very good. Find yourself stable, front knee over your ankle. If it's not stable enough, walk your foot toward the long side of the mat on the right. Now take your left onto your left thigh. Lift your right even higher and go into crescent reaching with your right arm behind you. Yeah, beautiful. And come back to your front with your left hand front as well. You can keep your hands parallel or to touch, stretching your index fingers and move to your right side to stretch the psoas in the side of your body. Beautiful. Come to your front, release your hands down and step forward. Inhale, lift for halfway up, nice and easy. Release down. And next, inhale, lift. Hands touch and hands to your heart. Beautiful. Let's do the same on the left side as well. Sorry. Inhale, lift. 
exhale, nice and lazy chair pose, another inhale, exhale down, step with your left into high lunge, lift your hands, you can walk your front foot toward the long side of the mat, let's go into crescent, right hand onto your right uh, thigh, lift your left and then reach behind, we're not reaching down, we're reaching behind diagonally and upward this right hand might go gently onto your shin and then move your both hands up front interlace your fingers stretching your index ones and move to your left okay, beautiful come back up put your hands down and step front inhale halfway lift exhale move down and now inhale, lift all the way up, palms touch, and hands to your heart. Sorry, something just made a weird sound home. I got a bit scared. Great, now step with your left leg behind you, place your heel down, move your hips to the front. Grab your hips, inhale, lift your heart, and exhale, gently bend forward with a straight spine, keeping your core strong, navel in. Inhale up. And exhale down and one more time inhale and exhale into this Pashvottanasana triangle forward bend now stretch your hands front bend your front knee and lift all the way up into your tree pose touch your palms over your head and with an exhale move to your heart for one more deep inhale and exhale down so second side, step with your left, place your heel down, move your hips facing front, grab them, tailbone down, lift your heart and gently hinge forward with your straight spine. Inhale, lift and exhale, bend with a straight spine. One more time, inhale, exhale. Beautiful, stay here. Lift your hands, keep your core strong. Bend your front leg, whoa. And then lift into tree pose. Palms touch over your head. And then move your hands to your heart for one more inhale. And exhale, release your foot down, great. You can gently shake to release any tension from that asana. And now step slightly wider, so it's not hip width wide. It's slightly wider and with your feet moved on the side. Take a deep inhale, touch your palms over your head. And now when you exhale, go like in a chair pose, but slide your sit bones backwards. Place your hand on your inner knees and gently move into Malasana. In Malasana, if you can go that deep, you can place something under your hips because that means that Achilles are not stretched enough or if your spine is not stretched enough, then skip the pose. Now stretch your arms on your right side. Right hand goes really far away, left one up. Now your palm faces behind and then try to touch your hands behind your right hip. Push them down, lifting your chest, opening and twisting. Yeah, beautiful. And the same way around, come back front and down. Change your hands so now the left one goes on the side. Lift your right. First try to open that chest and then move uh, or pivot, rotate your hand backwards and grab them behind your left thigh gently lifting your chest for another deep inhale and release hands and this time our palms together beautiful place your hands front knees down sit backwards and now take your left foot behind the knee Place them down, of course you can face more toward me. Your whole foot is down, your knee close to the belly. Keep your left, no, your right hand on your knee. Lift your left one and move behind for 
an Ardama Tsindrasana or Half Lord of the Fishes. If that is easy, you can place your elbow behind the knee. That will help you to rotate and that twist even more. Inhale and exhale. Come back to your front and now change your legs. What well, is good to place them in front. Now bend your left, your right goes behind. Yeah, good. And your left hand on your knee to keep the knee healthy and in the same position your right one goes behind you and if that seems easy elbow behind the knee for a stronger twist and move back to your front place your feet parallel to each other and gently move yourself in on your yoga mat with your knees bent and we're ending with two bridge poses with your inhale roll your tailbone hips lumbar and thoracic spine up toward the sky with an exhale roll down one vertebrae at a time keep your knees parallel in the same position engaging your inner thighs and your glutes and the last time inhale and exhale, great. And now relax in your Shavasana, closing your eyes, opening your arms and legs in a comfortable manner. Stay here for a few breaths. Again, focusing on your heart center. And with your next inhale, start to wiggle your fingers and your toes, ankles and wrists, your head side to side. Then wiggle and stretch your whole body. Bend your knees, move to your chest and hug with your arms, rocking side to side to receive a little spine massage. And then roll on your one side and gently push to come back into sitting. Try to keep your eyes closed all the time. Place your hands in front of your heart, palms touching. Inhale, lift your spine. Exhale, bow your chin to the chest, mind toward your heart. And let's chant one ohm as a closure of our practice. Oh. And gently blink, open your eyes and rise your gaze. And I want to say thank you for being with me today. I hope you really liked this little practice I've prepared to you for you. And see you next week on another yoga here on YouTube with Paulina. Hari Om Om Tat Sat Namaste. And if you liked it, give me a thumb up, comment or subscribe to the channel. I'll be very grateful. And bye bye. Ooh.